On behalf of the Duke University Living History Program, I'm very pleased to welcome our distinguished visitor today, former Prime Minister of Japan, Yasuhiro Nakasone, who is here under the auspices of the Institute of Policy Sciences and Public Affairs and the William Keenan Jr. Charitable Trust. To my extreme left is Dr. James White, who teaches and does research on Japanese politics at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. And on my immediate left is John Sylvester, who is director of the North Carolina Japan Center at North Carolina State University in Raleigh. And I am Margaret McKean. I teach and do research on Japanese politics here at Duke University. Prime Minister, we thought we would begin uh, our discussion today with a question or two about uh, your very long career uh, in the Japanese parliament. Uh, you first entered uh, the Diet in 1947, and you have been elected 16 times. Uh, I wonder if you could tell us uh, how parliamentary politics, legislative politics, uh, has changed over that long period of time. In what ways is the role of the diet changing during that period? The Japanese Parliament is the first time in the year of the Japanese Parliament. In this year, I have a lot of work in the Japanese Parliament. But when the Parliament was elected, the Japanese Parliament was a very strong support of the Japanese Parliament. So, the Japanese Parliament was the first time in the year of the 特に第一次世界大戦の時には民主化の運動はそうそう猛烈に上がりまして普通選挙も行われましたそこやって。Well, this autumn Japanese Diet will have an anniversary of 100 years since the establishment of the parliamentary system in our country. During the time we have experienced several twists and turns and some difficulties. But constantly, we have been experiencing a very strong move toward democracy and preservation of civil rights. During the First World War, there was also a very strong move toward democratization of our country. しかしその後、世界恐慌とかあるいはナチスの思想等にも影響を受けて、日本は軍部が台頭して、そして戦争に入って。非常に不幸な経験をしましたしかし戦争終わってからはアメリカの占領のもとに民主主義あるいは人権が復活しましてそれは見事にこの40年代に成長して立派な議会制民主主義国家になったと思います Military power came to take a strong uh, position in our country, and this was followed by the World War II, which ended in a, a very regrettable state. And after the World War II, under the U.S. occupation, Japanese democracy and human rights movement again revived, and for the past 40 years, I may say that such spirit has been growing. Uh, Constantly, and as a result, the parliamentary system has been established. So, 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 Conservative Party, that is Liberal Democratic Party, has been in power almost constantly for the past 40 years. Therefore, we have not experienced major changes of government in that sense. しかし、このこの原因は主としてこのオポジションである社会党が非常に不合理な政策をとって中立主義であるとか。あるいは日本の防衛自衛隊に反対であるとかそういう非合理な政策を取ったために国民から見放されてきたんで今もそういう傾向が続いておりますでこの前,この前1年前に参議院で我々負けましたけどこれは消費税の問題とかあるいはスキャンダルとかそういうものに一時的に
乗ぜられまして、えー、巻きましたしかしすぐまた回復しました。今問題になっているのは選挙法の改正です。今いわゆる小選挙区法というものそれに比例代表制を結びつけたちょうど西ドイツの制度をイントロデュースしようという考えがありますけれども党内の情勢を見ると非常に反対が強いと思います。But because within our party there has been a very strong opposition, it is being rather difficult. So, the reason for the reason is that the government has been able to do the same thing, and the government has been able to do the same thing, and the government has been able to do the same thing. So, the government has been able to do the same thing, and the government has been able to do the same thing, and the government has been able to do the same thing. The reason for us introducing such a system is to facilitate changes of government and to eliminate any possibilities of scandals arising. We do not think that it would be ideal to have one party being in power forever. But functionally, we very much wonder whether this is a reasonable or rational system. I think that the 政権交代ができなかったとっいうのは野党の政策が非現実的で国民の共鳴を求められなかったので野党の政策を合理的に直すことがまず先決だと。So what is most important? それからスキャンダルを立てるという考えは政治資金の規制とかあるいは議員の倫理性の確立とかそういうことによってこれは防止できると思うので小選挙区という形でこれを防止しようという考えは筋が違っていると思います。In order to do that, we should try to redress current political or fundraising system and try to further upgrade the ethical standards of the member of parliament. If we are trying to eliminate scandals purely through a small constituency system, then I do not think that would be the right way. This current 
まあ、来年までずっと継続審議になっていくだと思います。どの国でも政治には資金がいるんですが最近は非常にメディアの発達で。そのメディアを使う等で非常にお金がかかるようになります、えー、そこでいろんな考えがありますが一つは政党に政府が補助したらどうだドイツのように、えー、一票についていくら出すとそういうような政府,政府に対する補助制度を考えたらどうかとしかしこれには政党法を作らなければいけないしかしその民間団体である政党の活動を自由にするためにそう法的規制をするのは果たしていいかどうかとそういう民主主義の基本問題が一つまたあります West German system, that is, the government to provide subsidy to political parties like one vote for every one vote, a certain amount of money will be provided. But in order to make this a possible, political party law would have to be formulated. But there is an argument to the effect that whether it would be advisable to have、uh, this kind of legislation which regulates the activities of private o r g a n i z a t i o n まあ現代のような社会になるとある程度政党に国家を補助するということもある程度の監査制度を入れてやむを得ないと思いますしかしやはり民間のドネーションが基準で基本でなければならないと思いますその際には今でもその個人や会社が献金する場合にはそれを公表すると一定額以上は公表するとそういうことになっておりますけれども問題はその政党なり個人がその受け入れた政治資金をどういうふうに使ったかと使った結果を公にするとそのことが非常に大事なのでそういうトランスペアレンシーという問題を私は重視していきたいと思います。Uh, it would be necessary for the government to a certain extent to provide subsidy to political parties, but for that matter, a certain level of checking system would have to be introduced. And basically, I believe、uh, donations should be done by private、uh, businesses and individuals. When individuals and companies contribute political funds to political parties,、uh, if that amount、uh, exceeds a certain amount, Then that content should be made public. But what I'd like to advocate is to further enhance transparency in this regard. What is important is to make public the information as to in what manner the funds that h a s been collected from individuals、uh, have been put into use. In, given the present、uh, structure of the Japanese electoral system and the necessity of raising political funds, the factions within the Liberal Democratic Party perform a very important function. Some people say it's good, some people say it's bad, but I think everyone agrees that they are very important. Do you think that the influence of Factional organizations on the Liberal Democratic Party is positive or is it a negative influence? 
If it's a positive influence, how? If it is a negative influence, what would be the best way to eliminate it? これが日本独特の政治スタイルだろうと思います。もちろん結果もありますから、結果は直さなければなりません。I believe that the current fashion system in Japan is functioning quite well. Uh, this is indeed a very unique political system one can find in Japan. There are defects, of course, and they should be redressed. 日本はアメリカのプレゼンシャルシステムと違って、英国風のパーリアメンタリーキャビネットシステムを取ってますから、その割合に政党が強くて発言権もあるんですね。党議 党の意思を決定するという場合に、その議員総会で議論をたくさんして決めるってもなかなかそれは決まることは難しい。その前にその同行の死が政策に政策的に一致した人間とか、あるいは気分的に合う人間、そういうものが固まってファクションを作っておって
その総裁とか幹事長の権限が非常に大きくなってそしてやや独裁状態になる危険が非常にあるんです特に国家から補助金が来るような場合党の会計を握りますというと非常に独裁的傾向が強くなる危険が出てくるんです Since we are receiving some、uh, financial assistance from the government, their power and authority would become greater. So, the faction of the government is what is the faction of the government? The faction of the government is what is the faction of the government? The faction of the government is what is the faction of the government? But、uh, one of the、uh, difficulties or defects of having faction is that in the fundraising process,、uh, several different requests from, may come from business circles and they will be concentrated on certain factions. So, this may be one defect of having factions. あるいは強いファクションがその自分の言い分を余計通しすぎると、まあ、大臣を余計取ったりそういうような傾向も起きないとは言えない。しかしそれは総裁あるいは党の幹部が国民の世論を見ながら国民はそれを常に批判しますから。国民の世論を見ながらリーダーシップを発揮して、えー、正しいと思うことをやることが大事なんです今までまあ、私もやりましたけどファクションが大臣の候補を推薦してきてもそれはリジェクトして若い人を取るとかあるいは婦人を取るとかそういうことで国民にアピールするようにしましたそういうことをやっていけばファクションの弊害は割合少なくなるんです And try to recruit younger talent or women into the cabinet. By, doing that, by taking that kind of approach, we were able to respond to the appeals or the request of the general public. So, if we, we can do that, I believe the defective aspect of factions could be eliminated. One specific example of factionalism in 1982. When you became Prime Minister, your election depended very importantly on the support of the faction of Tanaka Kakue. Indeed, some journalists described your cabinet as the <laughs> Tanaka Sone <laughs> cabinet. Since you knew of the importance. Of Mr. Tanaka's support, how did this knowledge influence you as Prime Minister? And how did you react to this influence? How did you behave to become a strong Prime Minister by yourself? 私が総理になった時には田中ファクションの非常に支持を受けたことは事実です今度は総理になったら逆に田中ファクションの力を利用して政策を推進するためのエンジンあるいはフューエルにしましたね But once I was Prime Minister, I tried to utilize to the full, fullest extent the power that Tanaka faction had 
in order to formulate and implement policies. Therefore, I use Tanaka faction's power as a kind of engine or fuel for my policies. ですから、私内閣の取った時には仕事しないかくということを言って、どういう仕事をしたかということによって内閣の評価は決まるので、そのジャーナリストがその誰の影響を受けて内閣を取ったかということで決まるんではないと、仕事のきっかによって決まるん
やはり日本のリーダーになろうとそう決心して努力したつもりです。で一つはその対外関係外交関係日本の運命はこの国際関係で決まるとそういう考えでそのセキュリティの問題とかあるいはディプロマシーの問題とかそういう問題を非常に勉強したつもりです。もう一つはこのアドミニストレーションの問題で、えー、行政改革あるいはその他の政策もう一つはサイエンステクノロジーこれが日本の将来を決するとそういうことでその日本の原子力の平和利用を始めたのは私が始めたりいろいろその後もスペースの問題とかあるいはバイオロジーの問題とかいろんな問題について手を染めたのでまあ今のような外交安全保障とかアドミニストレーションとかサイエンスのテクノロジーとかこういうようなことが私の関心で勉強を重ねていったと思います。And uh, ever since I, was, I have been making enormous effort under the full determination that I would sometime, someday become the leader of Japan. And my thinking was that the Japanese des destiny, uh, the fate, would, would be dependent on future international relations. Therefore, external relations, I thought, was most important, including the security issue. And diplomacy issue, all these I have fully studied、uh, during my time. And also, I felt that administration, like administrative reform and related policies, were important together with science and technology policies. I thought that science and technology would be something that would decide the future course of Japan. Therefore, during my、uh, career, I have Been involved in the policies for peaceful use of nuclear energy in Japan, and I was also engaged in discussion on space and biology related issues. So, my area of interest is diplomacy, security, administration, and science and technology. I did、uh, fully study all these aspects. しかしまた党のリーダーになるにはグループのリーダーにまずならなきゃいけない。またファクションのリーダーにならなきゃならないそういうことでその選挙のたびに皆さんを応援してあげるとまた普段も応援をするとそういうこととそれから政策的に彼らと一緒に勉強したり自分の政策を示して彼らに賛成を求めたりつまりそういうようなフットボールチームの合宿みたいにねそしてリーダーになっていくと、そういう努力をしました。However, in order to become the leader, one has to become a leader of a group or a leader of a faction.、Uh, to do that, I tried、uh, to extend full support whenever there were elections for my、uh, group members, and I also extended other support as necessary.、Uh, we also held、uh, several study meetings and studied policies. And I have also indicated my own policy to the other members of the groups and sought their support. It's like a football team training camp. We did study together. I was in the first year of the 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 year. 国会の委員長とかそういうものは一切ならなかったみんな人に譲って渡したんです。And I, although within the LDP I did serve、uh, several posts like Secretary General, but when it came to parliamentary vice ministers post or other、uh, chairman's post within the diet, I let other members、uh, take them. それはやはり人に恩恵を与えてえー、そういう支持を得るという努力でおそらく政務次官や委員長に一回もならないで総理大臣になったのは
今いつ私しかないでしょう Ideas of the world and how to go ahead. What people were most important to you in shaping your own views of the world? In the party or outside the party? Outside, both inside and outside. Mm -hmm. You see as your, as your teachers in a way. Professor <laughs> 私が東京大学で教わった先生ですねその人の思想の影響をかなり受けましたそれからそのそれ晩年に至ってからは、まあ、途中においてもう一つ影響を受けたのは、えー、アメリカの大統領選挙でケネディがマシーンを作りましたね。うんえー1960本が出ましたねホワイトさんか誰かからのあの本を読んでああこういうマシンを作らなければいけないなと非常にそれは影響を受けましたねあの本は非常によく覚えてますそれでマシンを作ることをそれから努力して学者や新聞記者やあるいは財界人のアウトサイダーグループを編成して作り出したとそれがやはり総理大臣になる力になったと思いますね。Uh, during my early years as a member of the Diet,、uh, one person who did、uh, give me a major influence、uh, was、uh, Professor Yabe from Tokyo University. He was professor on politics and he was my mentor in that regard.、Uh, his philosophy greatly influenced my own thinking. And there is yet another factor.、Uh, President Kennedy. In 1960, produced a mechanism for machinery under US presidential system. I think the book、uh, was published to this effect by Dr. White or someone. I fully remember that book, and this book, in fact, did、uh, greatly influence my thinking as well. So, following、uh, this idea, I have also produced or formulated a machinery of my own, gathering scholars. Uh, businessmen and people from mass media. I try to recruit people outside of my own group, and I think that helped me in my becoming prime minister. So, I was very happy to help you with the Kaigun. I was very happy to help you with the Kaigun. I was very happy to help you with the Kaigun. I was very happy to help you with the Kaigun. 同じ海軍で苦労したから非常に我々は運命共同体の意識があってそれで戦争終わってからその諸君が大蔵省とか外務省とか日本銀行とかもう日本の一流のところにみんなおってその連中が私はみんな助けたとですから私が行政改革をやろうと国鉄の民有化とかその他の前川リポートの実行とかああいうことをやろうとした時にそういうスタッフがみんな審議会に入ってそして心から助けてくれましたねだから私の内閣の時ぐらいそういうインテリジェンススタッフあるいはインテリジェンスサポーターアドバイザー持った内閣ないだろうと言われておりましたそういういくつかの要素がありましたね。And in fact, the、uh, members of the Japanese Imperial Navy who worked with me did、uh, support me in a, a major way. I was a paymaster, an officer、uh, in the Japanese Imperial Navy, and my colleagues who shared common destiny during the war after the World War II supported me. They went to the、uh, Ministry of Finance, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, or Bank of Japan. 
they assumed important posts in the Japanese society. Uh, they became a great uh, support uh, for my career in implementing administrative reform for privatization of Jap Japan National Railways in implementation of my cover report. These important people became staffs or members of the council I set up and they sincerely helped me in my effort to implement my policies. And I believe I was the only Prime Minister who had uh, enjoyed the great support of intelligent staff, scholars, and advisors, and so forth. So there were several elements. Um, you have referred already to uh, administrative reform, uh, which is something I really wanted to ask about. Um, uh, and you have referred already to some of your methods of building strength to accomplish administrative reform. Uh, yet nonetheless, this seems like an insufficient explanation because uh, Japan remains the only uh, industrial country with serious government deficits uh, that has really addressed those deficits. Um, moreover, I, someone I know tells me that Japan addressed those deficits 30 years before the likely crisis uh, that would be brought by the need to repay uh, government debt, by the need to repay bonds. Uh, how do you explain uh, your ability to get the Japanese government to address its own deficit financing when this doesn't happen in other countries? ま、財政赤字の問題ですね。財政赤字日本の場合にお金国に比べても実際に危機が、その返済の危機が来る30年前からそういったものを取り組んでおられるといったそういったその力っていうか能力はどこから来てるのかと他の国にはとてもそういった
この PR の力はまた非常に多かったと思います。はい。私の記憶に非常にあるのはそのドコさんが朝ごはんを食べてる時 NHK がテレビジョンで映して放送したのその時奥さんと2人だけでこのイワシを2匹それとあとはピクルスそういう非常に質素なご飯を2人で食べてるのを放映されたんで非常に大きな感動を与えましたね。石油危機で経済もうまく悪くなりましたもんですからですから、うん、石油の消費量を非常に節約しましたいわゆる省エネルギーこういうことをやり待望生活を進めてい、えー、く間で今度は我々は予算は。うん、来,来年度の予算は一銭も増やさない、うん、むしろ 5% を減らしましたで最初の年はゼロシーリングであった2度2年目からマイナス 5% シーリングこれ5年やりましたからねでそれで国民の精神的な、えー、素地ができたわけですそういう素地の上に国鉄の改革ができたあの日本の国鉄というのはもう100年の歴史を持っておって社会党の牙城ですよねこの社会総評の牙城であったこれあのプライバイタイゼーションするってことは大変なことでそのマッカーサー占領時代でも国鉄改革をやろうとした国鉄総裁は死んだんですからねあれが自殺であるか他殺であるか分からなかった下山事件それぐらいのものであったんです我々もだから異常な決意であれをやったわけです。しかしかそういうい土壌ができていたからだから国鉄のプライバイタイゼーションもできたんですね
And in this kind of situation, we were able to implement Japan National Railway's uh, privatization reform. In fact, Japanese National Railway is an institution that has 100 years of history and is a stronghold of social members and Japan Socialist Party. Therefore, privatizing this uh, organization required enormous effort. Even under uh, General MacArthur, when he tried to privatize JNR, uh, much opposition uh, came about. In fact, the president of the JNR died. There has been an argument or discussion saying whether this was suicide or whether he was murdered. Nothing is certain, but this is called Shimoyama incident. So the whole effort required enormous task. Under very strong and full determination, I implemented the privatization because the climate, the atmosphere was already there. Because uh, such uh, feeling or climate was there, I was able to implement this reform. シモヤマ事件の時はなくて、この人員を削減。And uh, during this uh, Shimoyama instance, it was not a privatization per se, but uh, people try to reduce uh, the uh, staff personnel of the Japan National Railway. These uh, measures for economy and government and and we have told ourselves this for years, but we don't do it. Do you think, do you have some advice? Oh, yes. <laughs> what, are, what can we do? グラムラドマンホを作ったってことは立派なことですねだけどあれの実行はその曖昧の要素もあるようですねよく役人がやるんですけれどもそのドレッシングをやったそういうことも多分多少あるんでしょうねしかし私今度そのホワイトハウスとコングレスの間でコンプロマイズが進行しているとは増税についてこれ立派なことだと思いますしかし私思うにその日本の場合私がコンサンプションタックスやった時には公約違反だとお
非常に不幸なことですけれども日本の社会党というものは終戦直後結成されましたけれども戦前からの伝統を受けてマルキシストがかなり多いんですマルキシズムの影響を非常に受けておるそれが進歩派だというのでだいたい主流を占めてきていましたで右派と左派と分かれてますけれども実際は左派の方が非常に深い根を持ってそして彼らの党員の支持を得ておったわけですですから彼らの政策はそのアンタイアメリカとアンタイミューチュアルセキュリティトリーティーアンタイディフェンスフォーシーズそういう形で,で戦争直後においてはその青年を銃を取るなとか婦人を子供を戦場に送るなとそういうセンセーショナルなエモーショナルなアピールで成功したことがあるでそういうこともあってそれ,をそれに固執してきてずっと来ましたしかしその間に世界はガラッと変わってそして日本経済はどんどん発達して中産階級が伸びてきてで労働者の意識も非常にモデレートになってきたこれは1960の安保反対の時を境に変わってきましたねそれから日本は高度経済成長にも入ったとでそういう時代が変化して中産階級が多くなったというのにもかかわらず社会党は昔の古いイデオロギーに固執してこの間まで来たわけですで内部では喧嘩があったけどもやはりそういう戦前からのディープローテッドトラディションが彼らにあるのでどうしても左派が強いそれでドイツがやったような西ドイツのゴーデスベルグ大会でプラットフォームを変えたとあれを彼らはやれないあれをやったら政権を取ったでしょうねで最近になってソ連および東ヨーロッパのプラプスを見て慌てて今衣替えをやろうとしてやるでこの間の参議院選はそういう衣替えを少し見せたんですねそれで成功したと。しかし左派はまた強くなってきてるですから今また急に変えられない当分ああいう政策を持ってる党がそのオポジションである場合には自民党国民が選択していくと思うんです Uh, stream within this party. And、uh, there is a leftist and a rightist within this Japan Socialist Party, but it seems that the leftist is deep rooted and has a stronger support of the members of the JSP. And、uh, therefore, their policies have been anti United States, anti Mutual Security Treaty, and has been opposing to self defense forces of Japan. And immediately after the World War II, their slogan was. Uh, the youth should not take rifles and the women should not send their children to a battlefield. And they have been adhering to this kind of policies,、uh, trying to seek emotional support of the general public. But meanwhile, the world itself has undergone major changes. Japanese economy has grown and middle class has、uh, come to、uh, have a, a greater voices within the society. And environment has changed in a major way. And I believe 1960s、uh, demonstration opposing the Japan US Security Treaty region was、uh, a kind of a watershed. After <coughs> that, Japanese economy、uh, followed the path of high growth. And against this background, middle class rose to power, having stronger voices. In spite of such changes, Japan Socialist Party has been maintaining their outdated ideology. And within the party, there has been much dispute, but the pre war, deep rooted、uh, kind of leftist idea uh, is uh, having a stronger voices. If the Japan Socialist Party changes its, its platform, like the case of the Socialist Democratic Party of West Germany, when they、uh, change Their platform in a major way at the convention in Goldsburg, then the situation may have been different. The JSP may have assumed power,、uh, the government in Japan, 
perhaps that was not the case. But looking at the recent uh, movement in the USSR and uh, Eastern Europe, they have decided uh, to transform themselves. And I, as a result of their effort along that direction, they were able to get majority seat at the upper house election last year. But uh, still, the leftist element has a stronger say within the JSP, and it would not be possible for them to drastically change their policies overnight. As long as uh, they maintain, as long as the opposition maintains that kind of policy, I'm sure the general Japanese people will seek the LDP. Since it, in order to have a more effective, uh, responsible opposition within Japanese politics, would it be useful for the Liberal Democratic Party to split, become two separate parties, or are there any prospects of that? Or? もうそれも連立しましたけども、uh, yes, I think that is one approach that is possible. And in fact, there has been discussion for all the past long within Japan. But in actuality, unless we have a, a major instance, a major topic that would divide the opinions of our party, the splitting of LDP is highly unlikely. One possibility is to form a coalition, and by doing that, change the feature and the characteristics of the party. Uh, in my time, I had a coalition with a uh, new liberal club, uh, what is called Shinjiu Club in Japan, Japanese. Another possibility is to form a coalition with the um, Democratic Socialist Party or Kome Party. By doing so, we may be able to change the characteristics of our party. Uh, looking at the first half of 1990s, in view of the major transformation throughout the world, there is a possibility, in my view, that a major changes will take place domestically in our political circle. This that is, uh, I see the possibility in view of the major changes in the world that LDP or the opposition uh, re examining their own policies in a drastic manner, changing their policies and platform. Uh, in that process, a major event uh, in the world may trigger mergers or splitting of existing political parties. I cannot deny that possibility. Using the, the problem of the unity of the Liberal Democratic Party as a bridge to the topic of Japanese foreign policy, one of the implications of Japanese-American trade relations is the development in the last five years of conflict in Japan between the farm lobby and big business, with the farmers being very opposed to trade liberalization, and big business like Kei Danren that you mentioned 
criticizing the farmers. Now, both the farmers and business are supporters of the Liberal Democratic Party. So my question is, what influence will this kind of trade friction have on the unity of the Liberal Democratic Party? え、分裂しそうでしかいな、分裂しませんね。それで財界ビジネスサークルと一方においてはファーマーズと両方の市場を得てるが、今後もそれは市場を得ていくだろうと思います。それはやはり世界の体制から見て農業問題については解放ということが
、まあ、農林省やあるいは自民党の内部にもありますけれども、うん、そ,それは一種の,そのスローガンとか武器としてた使っていると思いますね。で現代約千万トンぐらいの食料を使ってるけれどもその中の数パーセントを輸入するということはその国民の中でもまた農民の中でもある段階になればその限定的にやむを得ないとそういう気持ちも出てくる可能性があると思いますしかし全面的に解放するってことはとてもできないでしょうしかし現にその 1950s には30万トンぐらい入れてたんですねお米の足りない時にそれはおせんべいとかその他お菓子や何かにも使っておったんです But I think they are using this rice security approach as a kind of a slogan or weapon vis a vis the world.、Uh, we are using about 10 million tons of、uh, rice as a foodstuff, and、uh, we are talking about an importation of a few percentage of that 10 million. And I think there is a possibility at、uh, some stage in the future that people begin to feel, and farmers too, that、uh, it would be inevitable. To import a few percentage of rice on a limited basis. Naturally, total liberalization of rice market is not possible. In fact, in the 1950s, Japan did once import 300,000 tons worth of rice when our rice was in shortage.、Uh, this imported rice was used for production of rice crackers and for confectionaries.、Uh. In regard to Japanese participation in United Nations peacekeeping efforts, it, it's very clear there's a dilemma. If Japan, Japan sends troops, it not only scares many people in Japan, it may scare people in other countries. On the other hand, if Japan participates only with money in peacekeeping effort, It reinforces the image of Japan as an economic animal. And if, if it's only money, if it's not blood and sweat like other countries, there will be continual criticism of Japan in the future. Also, Japan strongly supports the UN, but the nations and the peacekeeping forces tend to be countries like Fiji and Canada, Ireland. And the question comes why can't Japan do more directly for world peace? What are your feelings about how Japan can put blood and sweat into the UN? The problem of the Japanese is that the Japanese are not going to be able to do it. So, the Japanese are 戦争放棄ということでしかも日本のセルフディフェンスフォーシーズは日本の本土の防衛のみに使うとそういうふうに定義されてきておるでその長い伝統がありますから、うん、外国に兵を派遣することはできないと憲法上違憲であるとそういう解釈が法制局によってずっとなされてきた。I think this is related to the interpretation of the Japanese current constitution. The existing constitution was formulated under the guidance of General MacArthur,、uh, stating that Japan will give up any possibility of war and that self defense forces would be resorted to only for the defense, defensive purposes of Japanese main islands. That has been the definition of the existing constitution.、Uh, we do have a long standing tradition in this regard. In view of this、uh, constitution, sending forces abroad would be inconstitutional. And that has been the definition and interpretation of the Japanese Cabinet Legislation Bureau. 
その当時の,その日本はもう生きるのが精一杯でそして、えー、周囲の国は第二次世界大戦の被害を受けて日本に対する非常に冷たい目と監視の目で見ておったとそういう時の解釈がそのままこれだけ大きくなって世界から恩恵を受けて大きくなった大国の経済大国の日本その解釈を今適用させるのは無理なんです。At that time, the existing interpretation of the current constitution was introduced. But now, thanks to that interpretation, Japan has emerged as a major economic power. Therefore, now we can no longer apply that same interpretation to read our constitution. ですから地中海に出してパージアングルフには出せないですねそれを変えようと基本法を変えようとしていると私は私の総理大臣時代にいくつか解釈をいろんな面で解釈したで法制局をしっかり捕まえて私の命令通りやらしたことがあるんです例えばアメリカに対する武器技術の供与ですねこれは安全保障条約が優越するから安全保障条約を履行するためにアメリカに武器技術を供与してよろしいと今まではできないと言っておった。For instance,、uh, the provision of our weapon arms technology vis-a-vis -vis United States to date,、uh, that was not possible, but I interpreted that the Japan-US security treaty will supersede Japanese constitution And in order to perform our obligation under security, I mentioned that we should be able to export our technology on weapons. SDI の参加の時もそうでしたね。Uh, when we discussed the possibility of participating in a strategic defense initiative, that the same was true. その他日本の自衛隊の行動について何か何回かあります。And the same goes for other cases in relation to the behavior of Japanese self-defense forces. しかし現在のようなこのイラキのインベージョンというものを見てると今やこの国際的に大きな責任と仕事を持った日本はやはりそれを果たしていかなければ生きていくこともできないしまた憲法に決めているその国際社会に名誉ある地位を占めたいということもできないまた憲法にはその全文で国際社会においては一国のことのみを考えて他国のことを無視してはならないのであるという文章もあります And under the Constitution, in order、uh, to enjoy honorable position within、uh, the international community, we really have to implement that responsibility.、Uh, in the Constitution,、uh, there is a passage which says that、uh, we should not be indifferent to other countries、uh, and putting one's own country in front of、uh, the interest of other countries. I was in the last year, the w o r にその論文を書きまして今までの憲法解釈を拡張しなさいとそして自衛隊をロジスティックに使いなさいとそれは憲法違反ではないとそういろいろな理由を書いて論文を書きましたがかなり影響
賛成反対がかなり今日本に起きているようです。I advocated the necessity of expanding the interpretation of the existing constitution and that we should be able to utilize self defense forces for logistic purposes. And、uh, I also mentioned that that would not run counter to the spirit of the constitution. And there h a s been pros and cons to my argument, and this has triggered major discussion. Now, so the Nihon no Kokunai dewa, Nai Kak. の一部は自衛隊として派遣しないで外務省のものの席を変えて派遣しようとそういうような案もありますそれから武器は持たないで行くとでロジスティックをやるとそういう案もあります。私は自衛隊法を改正して今のような第一線のコンバットはやらないとしかしロジスティックは自衛隊としてやれるとそういうふうに改正しなさいと言っておるんです自民党に今2つの議論があります。Now, there are two lines of thinking within the LDP, but I am urging that the current self defense forces law should be revised so that our forces can be dispatched as self defense forces for logistic purposes, but they would not be engaged in direct combat. The Cold War was over, and the United States and Japan were able to get the power of the world. そして世界の情勢は非常に変わったんですね。だから終戦直後のような非常にその自虐的なそして日本だけが生きているという小さな利己主義的な考えを今捨てて憲法の許す最大限の解釈を拡張するとそれが賢明だと思って私はその政策を推進しています多分その国連協力法というような形の立法が提出されるだろうと思います。この場合その国連軍が結成されるのか。あるいは今のようなマルティナショナルフォーシスで行くのかそういう一つ問題があります私はですからこの間国連の決議605604か605を作ったときにそのセキュリティカウンシルは全ての国連参加国の協力を要請するとそういう一文を入れてもらったんです。そういうような条文を盾にして自衛隊をそ,そのままロジスティックに使うという方向に進めたいと思っております。ここで日本の政治の基本的な問題に触れますけれども。
私は総理になって一番考えたことは吉田政治から脱却することなんですよ。一つはそのセキュリティコンセプトにおいて日本がやっぱり世界的責任を背負うそういう形でそのウィリアムズバーグサミットの時明瞭にそれを出してきたわけです。それからあの戦後の統制経済みたいなのがあったの全部デレギュレーションでいわゆる新保守主義レーガン・サッチャーさんやったようなああいう政策やってプライバイタイゼーションを全部進めたあれもやっぱりその一つなんですね。今はそのリラックのインベージョンそれからポストコールドウォー世界的変革期に入って日本やドイツがそういうノルマルステージに帰ってくるともともインサンポリティカルインターナショナルフレームワークの中でねやるべき時に来てると思う。This is the kind of policy change that you would like to see. But do you really think that Japan will do the more positive, more active international actions that you support? Because Japan has been saying for 10, 20, 30, 40 years, soon Japan will take a more active international role. Very soon, please wait. We're still waiting. Do you think that will change? 今現にもう変えていますね今言ったような新しい法律を作ろうとしておるともうその前に我々はその ODA を非常に増やしました今アメリカより100億ドルを突破してアメリカより多くなってきてますねそういういろんな面で変えてきてることは事実なんです Uh, but uh, we are about to formulate a new piece of law and we are making efforts. For instance, we have substantially expanded our ODA. It has reached over $10 billion, which is larger than that for the United States. So it is a fact that we are making efforts. neighboring countries で今でもその自衛隊を出すということについては一部のネイバーズからクリティズムが出てきておるんでそういうものをこう説得しながら国際的な支持を得ながら一歩ずつそういう前進していかないといけないんです。例えば安保条約というものは日本が軍国主義にならないというアメリカの保証人がいるわけですよね。そういうような配慮が周辺諸国に対して今でも日本人には強くある政治家にもあるんだ
国連憲章の中にもまだ敵国条項があるでしょう。やっぱりだからその国連のメジャーカントリーズが日本がそういう仕事、日本やドイツがそういう仕事に出てくることを期待するとか、それは当然のことであるとか、そういうような風を送ってくれることは私は大事だろうと思うんです。So major countries within the United Nations, I think,、uh, should send a wind,、uh, stating that、uh, these countries are expecting Japan and Germany to take、uh, some actions, then that is a matter of natural course. That kind of a wind should be blown from major countries. Deutsch's case is CSC, which is endorsed by CSC. In case of Germany, the country is endorsed by the Conference on Security Cooperation in Europe. In the case of Germany, the country is endorsed by the Conference on Security Cooperation in Europe. In the case of Germany, the country is endorsed by the Conference on Security Cooperation in Europe. In the case of Germany, the country is endorsed by the Conference on Security Cooperation in Europe. I'd like to ask a question about this last、um, Kuwait and Iraqi crisis, if I might.、Um, it took Japan about three weeks this time to decide what its response、uh, would be. Does that signify that new alternatives were being seriously considered、uh, during that three week period? Was, was Japan on the point、uh, in inner discussions? どういう意味ですかそれはやっぱり今に言ったロジスティックをやるについていろいろ議論があったんです。それで例えばそのエアリフトシーリフトのために日本航空を出すとかあるいは船を供与するとか言っても船員組合が反対してあるいは日本航空の労働組合が反対をしてなかなか言うと聞かなかったそういうのを説得したりするのに時間がかかったんです。Like airlift and sealift, and we have decided to dispatch Japan Airlines aircraft and supply vessels. But even if we wanted to do that, there were oppositions from Siemens Union and Trade Union of Japan Airlines. It took time, it required time to convince and persuade these people. So, the question of how to use the military, 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 And even in case of、uh, using self defense forces,、uh, the Legislation Bureau has a very rigid idea as to in what manner the forces can be used. And we politicians had to break their rigid idea. He was in the same way, and he was in the same way. 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 Bureau has been handed down a similar kind of idea and stance from Yoshida cabinet, and it's difficult to break their rigid idea. これは総理大臣がやる以外ないんですね。<笑> so the prime minister will be the only one capable of breaking that. で、海部総理はそれほど法律的知識があるとは思わない。だから思い切ってバチッとやることはあまりやれない。見てるとそうです。But looking at Kaifu from cabinet, it seems Mr. Kaifu is not all that legally minded and he is not capable of breaking that rigid rule. This is perhaps where we have to turn to our final question. We have very limited time, apparently.、Um, Prime Minister Nakasone, I wonder if you could tell us、uh, are there things that you regret not having had time to do as Prime Minister? Are there,、uh,
どういう意味ですか総理でおられたときに、これこそ自分の病気だと思われるものと、またこんなことを続けてやれなくて残念だったと、無理方だと思うんですが、そこら辺にお願いまあ、大したこともやれなかったと思いますが一つは国内の行政改革プライバイタイゼーションとかあるいはそれから財政再建これも増税なき財政再建とかあるいは赤字交際に依存しない予算編成でこれはまあ実現したと。まあ、そういう行政改革を中心にする仕事はある程度やったと思いますそれからもう一つは国際的に日本の役割といいますか一つは日本の市場の開放ですねこれはいろいろ言われてるけれども実際かなりやったんですただこのストラクチャルプロブレムっていうのはあるんですよね召喚集とかその他の。だけれどもこの水際のオープンドアは非常にやったと思うんです。Well, my accomplishment、uh, uh, a very humble one, but domestically I did implement administrative reform, privatized businesses, and I also、uh, reconstructed Japanese government finance without any tax increases and formulated budget without. Any additional deficit bearing bonds issues. And internationally, I have made efforts to enhance the role of Japan. There has been much said about Japanese market liberalization, but in fact, we did make much improvement in this regard. But、uh, like commercial practices, there still remain structural problems. But as far as open door policies for importation, I think we did、uh, make major efforts. それからやはり、えー、世界の安全保障はインディビデュアルと分割できないとそういう考えに立ってその日米欧の三極による安全保障体制の確立とそういう新しいコンセプトを日本の国民の中に入れていってそして日本がそういう三極の一つとして世界の安全保障について同じように責任を持っていくとそういう考え方を割合にポピュラーにしたと思いますね。And in terms of world security, my idea is that security issue cannot be divided, indivisible. Therefore, trilateral security set up, including Japan, the United States, and New York, I thought was something that we have to look for. I have instilled this new concept to the mind of the general public. And as one pillar of that triangle,、uh, we thought that Japan should fulfill its own responsibility. I believe I have made this kind of concept popular among the public. まあそういうことの成果の一つはソ連が SS20 を極東にディプロイしようと最後は残そうと思ったのをレーガンさんよく話をしてそれも撤去させたとあれはやっぱり。安全保障が世界的に同じレベルでいけなきゃいかんという我々の考え方を採用されたんだと思います。Uh, one, uh, my approach was the elimination of SS20 that the USSR was about to、uh, keep it and deploy it in the Far East, but after discussing with President Reagan, this was successfully removed. I think this shows how important global thinking is necessary、uh, in the world security. Prime Minister Nakazumi, thank you very, very much for this very enlightening chance to chat with you. We're very pleased to connect this trip. Thank you very much indeed.